Hello everybody, this is Luckless Lovelocks, and I am very excited to present you guys with a pre-release look at Firewatch. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Campo Santo for letting me letting me show this to you guys. And also, especially I'd like to thank all of you guys, because without you, I wouldn't be able to, to present this to you and be able to play this early. And it's, it's really your support and uh, you guys subscribing to me and being active on my channel that's allowed me to do this. So, so thank you so much to you guys. And I, I'm I'm very excited about this game. I've been I've heard about it for a long time. I watched the Idle Thumbs podcast, and some of the developers of this game uh, are on that podcast. So I've kind of heard about it uh, while listening to the podcast, and uh, it's just uh, lots of excitement is built up uh, in, inside of my mind about this game. Um, it's a narrative driven game, uh, story driven exploration. I want it like it feels like The Witness, but I think the story is going to be a lot more uh, told in a straightforward way. Not going to be uh, so vague and told in, uh, you know, just using the environment in these recordings. So anyways, I'm excited to play. Enough talking. Let's take a look at Firewatch, guys. All right, we're just thrown right in. We can see our body here. We're wearing a belt or something. Wow. Already, it's like a very beautiful world. I don't know if there's survival elements to the game. Now, I think we have a... Okay, it's telling us uh, the direction to Thoroughfare Lookout. All right, well, just go over there. You can run, I think. Yep. Yeah. So this is a preview build to the game, so that might be there might be some small bugs, but uh, so far it looks great. See the mountains in the background. Has like a cell shaded look, but not not overly cell shaded. So like a realistic cell shaded. Okay, we can zoom in. Else will do anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Turn on the power. We've got a radio. Mind cone? <laughs> okay. Examine. So you can examine things. Your chubby little hand. I like that touch. Often games make um, the people look too like idealized. Like doesn't look like the light switch is working. Let's just turn the power on. Probably why the light switch isn't working. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Let's shift to activate radio. Uh, so I, oh, I select using the uh, mouse wheel, and then release left shift. Okay, Delilah. Okay. Um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two <laughs> days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Apply. Whoa! Okay, that's... That's aggressive. Okay. Uh, you've <laughs> killed three husbands. 
You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo. We figured her out. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> That's Firewatch. <laughs> Day one. Okay, cool. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. All right, let's take a look around this world if I can. It's a radio call. I guess I can't. All right, yeah, you can take a look around. Egg here. Pine cones. What about Julia? Okay, that must be us there. How funny that Julia's face is covered up. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I want to just throw that away. I guess I will. Can't read the report. Supplies. So there's some stuff that we can't really interact with. Or talks. Iron pan, all kinds of stuff. Cookbook. National Forest Guidebook. Old Scottish oil soap. Okay. Dark wood. Okay, we can kind of put stuff down properly as well. Singular Mind. Dr. Jonas Allard. Ah, Glory. Birds of Wyoming. It strikes at two, the Patriots. You know I like to look around, guys, so let's take my time, try to really get into the environment and the story. Or the Shoshone poster. Great fire. F I'm not gonna read all these. Okay. All right, all right, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Let's, let's get back on the radio. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see oh, it? Oh, yeah. I see it. Locate round thing. <laughs> I, I have a feeling this game is going to be pretty tongue-in-cheek, but also, like, very serious at times. It's which right I love. I love. I love that kind of stuff. Okay, I can report things that I see. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Sorry? And to use compass. I mean, the sun rises in the you east. To Do you see them? Fireworks. Oh, I see them. I see them. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. All right, like kick the shit. Out. Like kick the shit out of him, sort of straight. <laughs> no, 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 Jesus, no. <laughs> what? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. 
Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Perfect. What was that code again? Um, uh, box? Oh, I, I, I missed out on replying. Okay, so you've got to reply quickly. Box. Replies. Finder. Yeah, that's interesting. A smiley face. All right. Did I, did I miss? Did I miss the the rope? Okay, I keep hitting shift to run. <laughs> it's um R is like run toggle. I guess it's in our backpack. Oh that's cool. I like that I like that little effect. The little uh, animation. Hop over. Yeah. Got a compass. Zoom. Orient. Okay, can move it around. So west is this way. Let's just follow this path if we can. Jonesy Lake. Damn kids. Reminds me of my camping days. It's been a while since I've been camping, actually. Ooh. Some creepy stuff. Okay, oh, here's the box. Maybe. Supply cache. Uh, lower compass and keep hitting C. What's the code again? I found the supply box. Great. Open it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Excellent. We did it. There's a note from Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked. Hiking into the park. Let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Okay. That back. Okay, we've got a map. Oh, I see. Okay, we've updated our own map. Zoom in. Oh, and it actually shows us our position, it looks like. Handy. Got a legend and things. So we're at two forks. Wow, this is a really, this is a really big area. Look at that. Bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, we've got, um... I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Damn right. We're gonna hang him. 
I don't know if you noticed, but um, he's got a... So he's married, he's got a ring on his finger. This game's going to be full of little details like that, I think. Roll bar? People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. I can eat it. Can I not just take it? Oh. Keep it in there. I might use it later. What are these pine cones? I think I might turn up the game a little bit. It could be louder. Up to, uh... What is that at default? 75. Um... Keep. Okay, I can just keep the notes, but I can't keep the control bar. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Medicine wheel. Medicine wheel, I think, was down this way. Hear the fireworks in this direction, though. I, I love these exploration games. I like just being immersed in these worlds. Who knows what kind of uh, craziness we're gonna encounter, too? Sure, if we're headed in the right direction. Rope hook. Okay. There we go. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Oh, we can call it something. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. <laughs> it's a 50-foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. They just look like knives, okay? Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. How do you expect me to get down this? <laughs> well, did you get that rope? The rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Okay. Better not die. Here we go. I don't like that I can't see behind me. Oh, no, shh! No, no, no. Oh, man. Are we okay? Widowmaker got the best of me. <laughs> what exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, how are we supposed to get back up to? Okay, so it's uh, it's evening. That's why uh, the sun was in the west. Okay, there's another uh, another rope. Hey, where were those fireworks? Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What okay, here we go. Don't know. Just stopped coming out. Looks like there's a fire here that's been uh, recently used.
finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Clean up. Oh. We can clean up. Damn, idiots! Let's be a good park ranger. I wonder what kind of effect this is going to have on the game. Got a couple of bags here. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. A bit weird. Why wouldn't they bring their bags with them? Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Those cl Is that clothing? Alright. Well, we're gonna stop that out, right? Can I stop it out? It's not... I s okay, there we go. I just had to get closer. Whiskey. We left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh Weird. shit. Ferret or Irish. Let's uh s save that for later. <laughs> Confiscate. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. That rolling stones firework there. Magic missile. With the beer cans. What the hell what are they doing? Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Right. If you can find them. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Your music. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I'll try. There are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? I actually recognize this voice actor. He's, um, he was in Mad Men. Or, uh, yeah, I think, I think that show's done now. He's got, he's just got a great tone to his voice. There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? <laughs> uh, should I tell her? Uh, nothing. Forget it. <laughs> let's not tell her. If you say so. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen over here. There we go. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> Is this the 80s? Must be. Full stereo! Oh, hey! Put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down! You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, <laughs> alright? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler Buffet. Chelsea. Wow. That's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's groaning. Why do guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? 
Okay, what are we gonna say? I took all of your shit. Took all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. You need to get out of here. Totally. You're gross. Aww. He's gonna chill out with the boombox. Hey, that go okay? I hope they trap. <laughs> I hope they drown. <laughs> I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. Probably a good idea. Seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. <laughs> Can I not turn off the music? Okay, this is. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Oh, okay, it's another way to get back to the tower. I was gonna say, didn't we come from that way? I don't want the boombox. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Can I get in? Okay, it stops me at a certain point. We're gonna chill out to this music. <laughs> No uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no, but that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. What if I, uh, throw in the water? There we go. <laughs> music was kind of driving me nuts. Some birds off the distance. The sun's falling pretty fast. Wait. Did you see a shadow up there? I just saw something moving up there. Getting that vibe that we're not alone. I mean, aside from the girls. And Delilah. It's a cool little... So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I woke up new to the job. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about, uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Oh. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. I'm gonna go around this way. I can't. Uh, it doesn't look all that stable. Okay, we're fine. What was that? Is there a sign? Kinds of weird uh, paths. You don't have to take. Uh... You don't always have to take kind of the safe path. Uh oh. Hey, I 
heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I'll try. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Okay, we've got another box here. Same code. All right. Makes it easy. Copy down the map info. Thunder. Uh, okay. Let's just look at our map. There's the Widowmaker. Okay, we're over there. Oh, I got you. We went around like that. And then we're coming up here. Okay, we're pretty close to the lookout. But... this danger bravery the great outdoors defend our frontier horn. there's a horn or an antler or whatever well antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails I guess this is a bone antler yeah. a ranger must have found it this spring how would he put it in here though Ah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that actually blighted me a bit. I wonder, like, am I going to see something on these items? I'm not sure. Thunder Canton. Oh, wow. There's a cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... Oh. So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Henry. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up uh, this episode for now. Uh, I'll be back with some more of uh, some pre-release footage of uh, a Firewatch. Pretty cool so far. I'm really digging it. I like the, I like the style. I like the comedy. Uh, let's see where it goes, and who knows, maybe we'll go down this cave next time. This is Luck of Sublocks, signing off for now.